Um, let's start with the reason why you're in town. You'll be uh, at the Monk debate talking about uh, the refugee crisis. Your opinion is? Yeah, I, I think uh, you don't uh, fix the world by uh, importing the world into uh, the functioning part of the world. We live in an age of failed states. Uh, and that problem will not be solved by simply taking in millions of refugees. Ultimately, then, lots of other states are going to fail, including uh, nations like Sweden, which is under incredible structural stress because it's taken in so many refugees. All right, what would you say, Mark, to those that believe that you've got to take in refugees, that these are people that are in crisis, they're fleeing some pretty uh, dramatic circumstances? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the two great European waves of refugees in the last quarter century. First from Yugoslavia. Um, I, I saw a woman who was a, a beautiful woman, but uh, she looked old enough to be my mother. She was, in fact, 27. She had uh, her hair had prematurely grayed and fallen out. She was sunken cheeked, hollow eyed. Uh, her, tooth, her teeth were stumped. Her clothes were hanging off. Her. She'd spent a winter in Mostar in Bosnia. So she the ones, be... the ones, that's a refugee. The ones I saw uh, at Malmo railway station a couple of months ago in Sweden were fit, vigorous, healthy young men. Uh, the, the, the proportion of, uh, uh, of uh, male refugees, so called refugees, is about 75 uh, percent. That's on the official statistics. That's not a normal refugee population. They're the guys who should be back home fighting for their country. What do you say about the idea that uh, you're judged by how you treat the weakest members of your society? I mean, physically, maybe they're young and healthy, but they're in a very vulnerable position. Yeah, the weakest members of our society, Liza, are the ones that governments own a duty to, which are their own citizens, like the women uh, who were raped in the square in Cologne, like the women of Vienna, whose police chief has told them it's not safe to go out at night, uh, like the women in the Swedish town where they had to cancel Earth Hour, you know, this environmental thing where we all sit in the dark for an hour, because it's not safe to turn the lights off in a Swedish town for an hour. These are profound societal tensions. You're right. We owe a debt to the weakest uh, in our society, uh, and you don't uh, and, and you, you you don't honour that debt by putting in profound uh, bicultural stresses such as they now have at every swimming bath in Germany. Could talk to you for much <laughs> much longer. <laughs> it's always a very interesting conversation. Uh, enjoy the monk debate. It's always a fantastic event. Uh, Mark Stein, thank you for being here. Thanks a lot, Liza. All right, good to see you, Mark. We're back after a quick break.